lesión 22. A hot, hot day. It was a hot, hot day. Pug the pig was talking to Dot the dog under the shade of the big elm tree. Pug talked in oinks and Dot talked in barks, but they could understand each other just fine. In fact, they talked every day. They were best friends. The other animals on the farm thought they were silly. Cats should play with cats. Chickens should play with chickens. Cows should play with cows. Horses should play with horses. Dogs should play with dogs. And pigs should play with pigs, they would say. When the other animals saw Pug and Dot together, they would shake their heads and laugh. Pug and Dot did not care. They each had a very best friend, so they were happy. Pug and Dot each thought the other had a funny tail. Pug would snort in delight when Dot wagged her big fluffy tail. Dot would jump up and down when Pug wiggled his curly tail. Today, it was so hot out that Pug and Dot were too tired to wiggle and wag their tails. It's so hot out, you could fry an egg on my back, Pug said. It's so hot out, I'm sweating out of my paws, Dot said, panting between words. Pug giggled. Imagine if we sweat like Farmer Fred. I wasn't joking, Dot said. I really am sweating from my paws. Wowee, Pug said, staring with wide eyes at Dot's wet paws. That must be uncomfortable having damp paws. Actually, it helps in this heat. That's why people sweat all over. It cools you down, Dot explained. Well, gee, I wish I could sweat like people, Pug said with a frown. Pigs don't sweat much, but there is another way you could cool 
down, said Dot. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Pug smiled and wiggled his tail with excitement. Mud bath, they yelled at the same time. Pug trotted and Dot dashed across the field to the pool of mud by the lake. Pug rested in the cool mud, sighing with relief. Dot leapt into the fresh, clear lake water. She swam back and forth, making sure to stay near the mud so she and Pug could talk as they bathed. They were best friends after all.